Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today we're going to cover a pretty cool little hack that's going to save you a lot of time and aggravation. But before we get to that, let's talk about this. This is a tool that I bought at Lowe's, uh, Lowe's Home Improvements. And this is an oscillating tool by Rockwell. I bought this because I have another Rockwell um, oscillating tool that's a plug-in one. And I really wanted to get a cordless that's powerful. This thing's really powerful and it has a lot of cool features. I'm going to cover some of those features at the end of this video and I'm going to give one of these away. Really cool little tool so make sure you check this out all the way to the end and drop a comment on me because we're going to be choosing someone from the comments to uh, win one of these. And right here I'm going to give away a t-shirt that has my dog on the back of it and it has Paul's toolbox on the front. I'd hope you'd like one of these. So uh, if you are interested in winning this, please drop a comment on me. Now, we're going to get to a couple of other things. In this room, I've been renovating it, and I'm going step by step all the way along, uh, along the line. This is one thing that I recently did. I added this wood on here to give this look in this, in this corner wall, and I built this cabinet for it. I have videos that's coming out soon to show you how to build this cabinet and how to put an old window like this in it. These windows are really old and they're nasty looking, but you can take these windows and really make them look good, just like I did here, and you have all kind of uses for them. This is a cypress window, so it's gonna last forever, and it's, of course, it's indoors. So I took this and put some new glass panes in it, cleaned it all up, and now it makes a great cabinet. You wanna check out my future videos because I'm gonna be doing something with this right here. This is not gonna stay open, although it would look good, I wanted to have some nice doors on here and we're going to have some pretty cool things that we're going to add to it. Now let's get started on this video. Right here I have a bow in this wall and I need to cut it out and get in there because the framer put a stud in here that is, is, has a bow in it. I can see a big bow right from here to here and if I take my level and I run across it I can push it back and forth and it rocks really bad. But we're not really going to address that right now. I'm going to show you some easier ways to get in this wall without causing problems if you have wires or something back there. Now if you look right here, I have wires running from here. And this is for my jacuzzi tub. If I hit that wire, I'm going to electrocute myself or, or possibly cause a fire. So what you want to do is just cut the sheetrock or the drywall without getting anything else damaged. Now, first thing I'll do is take my saw with an old blade. I get old blades when I do this because I don't want to use a really good blade on this. Uh, I want this to um, just cut through drywall, so it's, it's no big deal. I don't need anything really sharp. So we'll take the sawzall right now and we'll set it up to where it goes to the deepest spot, right there. Take my tape, put on there. We're ready to roll. Make sure it's good and flat. Put it right across the bottom. Okay. That's where we need to break it off, right there. So we're going to take this part right here, put in the vise and snap it. Set this up the same way. I'm going to take my, my saber saw, put my blade in there, you're going to need some type of hammer. Any one of these hammers will work for this and uh, you'll want a pair of safety glasses and some gloves. We'll set this in right on the edge where the tape is. Get it good and tight. Put your glasses and your gloves on. When I do this, it's always safer to go ahead and hold the blade if you can so we don't pop our eyes. it.
Get it tight. I'll use a different hammer for this. That is why you want to have safety glasses because you don't want this popping up and hitting you in the eye. And you see it's going to go below this, but it really doesn't matter. Once we start it and it breaks loose through there, as long as you keep this plate tight on there, you'll roll right through. Now watch, I'll start it slowly until I get through on an angle. See how easy that is? And what that does is it gives me a nice clean cut. I'm going to go a little further here just to show you that we didn't even touch the stud on there. Now you see how easy it is to go into that wall and not worry about hitting something like this. Well, now we're going to try this one. And you can see it just comes up a little bit. Same thing, you got to kind of walk it in. And you can go down, go right across this stud. Comes in handy. Well, that's it for now, and I hope you found this video useful. I have a number of Rockwell tools and I'm sold on them. They're fantastic tools. I've been happy with every one. They're super solid. If you ever look up on Amazon or anywhere else, look up the ratings on them. Everybody has great things to say about Rockwell tools because they are tough tools. This right here is a 20 year battery, meaning they will replace it for 20 years. If this thing goes bad, you send it back to Rockwell, they will give you a new battery for up to 20 years. So you can't beat that. This tool right here has 20,000 OPM, which means 20,000 oscillations per minute. This thing will eat through wood, it eats through nails, it's tough as nails. I bought um, a carbide tip blade on here. It doesn't come with a carbide tip, but um, I bought one to, to cut nails when I was doing this project and it just ate through um, 16 penny nails like they were nothing. It also eats through wood like it's nothing. They give you a number of blades along with this kit and I will send it to you whoever wins. With the case, you have a battery, a charger, the uh, tool, and, and different attachments to go with it. Here's another great feature on here, and this is why, another reason why I chose this one, this model. You can take this and just release it in seconds and change your blades. You loosen it up, and this comes right out. Now, when you go to put a new blade on here, it just slips in here, you tighten it up, and lock it in place. I don't need any other tools. I don't need an Allen wrench. I don't need anything. That's it. So make sure you drop a comment on me because we're going to be choosing one winner from the first 200 comments. If you drop a comment or if you subscribe, you need to have notifications set up. It's real easy. You go into your phone settings. You go from settings to notifications. You click on that and from notifications it's going to show you a list of different apps you have on there. One of them would be YouTube if you subscribe and on YouTube you click that, you go to um, all the things it says for notifications and it's going to tell you to allow, you allow notifications. That way if you comment on one of my videos and you're a winner, I will send you something back and you'll get notified. If you don't do that, I can't, I have no way to get in touch with you. So if you found this useful, hit like for me. I'll see you guys on the next project and don't forget to subscribe.